No woman, no cry. Well, this man cry. If my eyes look a little puffy, it's because I just bawled for two minutes and 11 seconds watching the teaser for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. No woman, no cry. The teaser premiered at Comic-Con just about an hour ago, I guess. The original premiered its trailer there in 2017, and that was the first time Chadwick Boseman and the rest of the cast saw the footage of what would become the Oscar-winning cultural phenomenon. Writer-director Ryan Coogler says that at that time, Chadwick Boseman was squeezing his shoulder as the footage premiered inside Hall H five years ago. And today, Ryan says he's still feeling the superhero's presence. Along the way. I promise you I can feel his hand on me right now. So the hugs amongst the Black Panther Wakanda Forever cast were quite different this time around as we all got our first look at how Wakanda will move on without T'Challa. I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world! T'Challa is no longer with us physically, but um, his spirit, his passion, his genius, his pride in his culture, and the impact that he made on this industry will be felt forever. Now, while Wakanda Forever will honor Chadwick, Ryan promises that the film moves the story forward just like Chadwick wanted. It goes to new places in Wakanda that we haven't seen before, but it also goes to new corners of the MCU. Put our love for Chadwick into this, into this film, and, and but we also put you know, our, our passion. This film has a ton of action, it has humor. Um, it's a roller coaster of a movie. And Lupita Nyong'o echoed that expanding landscape tease. We get to see more. That's all I'm gonna say without getting in trouble. <laughs> you know, you just get to see more of Wakanda. The, the universe of Wakanda is expanding, and you guys have a lot to look forward to. And while the teaser doesn't reveal who puts on the Black Panther armor, uh, and when I wake up, Letitia Wright says it was a blessing to be able to continue this story. We've all grown so much as a family, um, with our characters, and we're just so honored to, to bring this movie to you guys and, and honor Big Bro at the same time. I'm so, so, so excited that we'll get to share it with you all in November. Yeah, I was a mess watching this teaser. Perfectly put together. It starts off as a eulogy, but then it slowly picks up the pace, still using No Woman No Cry, and then starts using the Everything's Gonna Be All Right line, mashed up with Kendrick Lamar's All Right, brilliant. And without the reveal of who the new Black Panther is, I'm still sticking by my belief that Michael B. Jordan is inside that suit. Bravo to Disney Marvel for keeping such a tight lid on this movie. There were no leaks from that set at all when they were shooting this movie down in Atlanta. This is our first knowledge of what happens in this movie, so I still believe there's a possibility that Michael B. Jordan was down there in Atlanta shooting this movie and he's inside that suit. We'll see. Finally, bow down to Ryan Coogler. He had a truly impossible task here. Like, even if Chadwick was still around, Ryan had to construct a sequel to one of the most successful movies ever that was the first superhero movie nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Even that alone would be a really daunting task. But no, he had to construct a sequel without the icon and his good friend, Chadwick Boseman. And regardless of how good the movie ends up being, I think Ryan just needs to be applauded for doing it. <laughs> for actually doing that. That just seems like such an impossible task to do. So the fact that he's done it, and judging from this teaser, it looks like he really does Chadwick and Wakanda justice. I say bow down to Ryan Cooler. But yeah, what are your thoughts on the Black Panther Wakanda Forever teaser?